What's up everybody, it's day two, I think day two of the exhaust. I pretty much have it, it's pretty much on. The only thing left is the hangers. I think it looks pretty nice. So still got a few things I gotta do on the car. Um, I had to grab a K-Tune conversion harness because a customer thought that the FuelTech jumper was basically all he needed and it's not. That was only for K-Pro to FuelTech. You still need the conversion harness with that setup. So I had to pick one up. I gotta install that today. Still waiting on Track Tough, Water Neck. What else? The K-Tune heater hoses are taking a little while. So those I still have to do. Just little things. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by this weekend, Today's already Friday. By the end of this weekend, the car should be pretty much done and I could get Jamie out here to put a base map on the car to basically start it up, run it through its processes, heat cycles, burp the coolant, make sure everything is good, drive it around, make sure suspension, all that is good. Um, and then we can hit the dyno. So it's basically 2.30 right now. So I am starving. I'm gonna go grab some lunch. All right guys, moment of truth. It's been a long two days. This is how tedious doing exhaust work and TIG welding it. Uh, it was a universal kit, so kind of, I don't know, maybe it did help, maybe it didn't, I don't know, but I'm not an exhaust shop, so obviously it took me a lot longer, and I'm super picky on how things look and work. I don't want any problems whatsoever, and I want it to look its best possible that I'm able to. So, without further ado, here we go. I'll bring the car down. I haven't even brought it down yet. I wanted to get you guys in as soon as I could. Um, I roll that, it's still kind of wet. I wanted to blend in, just if you look under, you know, it's not all, cause I had to grind it down. So I just decided to just bomb that black. Um, V-band is up there. I got it spun to the top. So again, like, you know, if you're looking under the car, you won't see the clamp, but I am really, really happy with this exhaust and how it came out and i'm happy that i'm done with it <laughs> i'll just give you guys a quick look super happy i'll bring it down again or not again i'll bring it down so you guys can kind of see how we're looking i love the vibrant because it's like low key you know it's not all shiny it's not a big fart can Super happy with it. Nice tight clearance, centered with the bumper. Come on now, your boy's a beast. <sighs> I gotta clean up, I got a huge mess. Welder's out, toolbox is dirty. But I'll drop the car down so you guys can see it. It's nice and tucked away. Super stealth, looks great. I just love how it looks, you know, with the wheels being black, the exhaust. This is definitely my style right here. But if you guys are ever thinking of like a low key exhaust and they sound great too, it's not only just, they look amazing, they sound amazing. Not raspy, kind of mellow, deep, but when you get on it, it's good sound. So shift cables come Tuesday. I gotta run to MPH Fab probably Monday, so I can just plumb everything, make all the fuel lines. And I think after that, we're good for Jamie to put on a map. So this thing looks so good in, inside the car. It's kind of dark, but I really like the fuel tech. It's crazy. And this is a street car. Most people put fuel tech on the race cars, not really a street car, but he's not playing around. <laughs> So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do, whether I stay, go, whatever. But you guys are out of here for now. What's up guys? Brand new day. What's today, Tuesday? Tuesday. Some parts came in so I can actually get back on this thing. Still waiting on a fan, but the Track Tough upper water neck came in. This is so nice. I love their products, so clean. Nice finishing touches. Um, the heater hoses came in, so I got to install that along with I got the heater valve. So I got to cut the hose somewhere and get all that stuff going. Um, also need to make the charge harness. 
I went to Home Depot and got some some heavy duty shrink tubing. The stuff is actually really thick. Um, first time using it, but hopefully it's good. Pick up some shears, thread paste or thread sealant. I love using this stuff. The blue stuff works great. Um, so I can put the sensors on the block and the fuel pressure regulator for the fuel tech. I also have heat tape, which I'm going to wrap the engine harness. Got wire to make the charge harness. Got the battery ends. Adapter for the sensor. The Honda blocks aren't eighth inch. It's British, whatever, national British or whatever it is. I don't know. So anyways, I got the adapter here, which will go into the block, and then that will go into there. So Track Tough Rob, amazing person. He actually came out from California to visit. Uh, it was pretty dope to actually meet him face to face. Great, great guy. And like I said, awesome, awesome products. Very proud of the products he makes. This is just insane. It's got the eighth inch for the coolant temp sensor, which basically threads in, but just amazing quality, man. Like stuff like this just really adds to the build. The stock stuff, it's just, it ain't it. Spend a little bit of money and get the results. Comes with all the hardware. Comes with, if you're not running heater hoses, then you could just block this off. Uh, this car does have heater hoses, so I'm gonna install that so I could run the cooling hose from the thermostat housing to the water neck. I always spray a little bit of WD or dish soap, whatever, and tighten that up and you're good to go. Comes with hose clamps, hardware, everything you need. One more quick little thing, I already installed it. Tractuff also offers an OEM uh, O-ring for it, so optional, but I always recommend if you're buying this piece, always put a new one on. You don't want to install it and have it leaking. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some thread sealing. This stuff's pretty cheap. I think it was like it was like 10 bucks, but it will last you almost a lifetime. Over the years of working on cars, building cars, I just don't like using Teflon tape. And this looks like it's pipe thread, so I'm just going to put a little bit. So I actually didn't put it in the vise because I just didn't want to mark it up. I just held it with my hand and kind of thugged it out a little bit. I'm just going to take some of the excess off. I always snug it up, just kind of keep it flush so it can't fall out whenever I'm trying to put it on the other end. So that's pretty much it. You can see it's all installed. Looks amazing. Great product. Nice and clean, not that ugly OEM piece, which I don't even know. You guys want this ugly thing on there? Or that? This or that? There you go, all right? That can stay over there because we don't do those. It's just the small things like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead, might get some sensors going. I'll probably put one on the fuel pressure, give it some time to dry. And then I'll start mapping out the charge harness. As far as the car today, I got the shift cables in. I put one of the sensors and I, I gotta go grab some more hose clamps because the K-Tune kit comes with four hose clamps just to basically install it, right? But what I did was I installed the heater valve so he can still, you know, in the summertime, even though the heat is off, if the valve is open, and you're driving and you have the fresh fresh air setting on, you're actually gonna get hot air still. So it's nice to leave that piece in there. And then obviously in the winter time, you, you turn your heat. So it's, it's fully functional. So I gotta basically grab two hose clamps, but that's pretty much it. I still have to make the charge harness and a couple other things, do the steering wheel. I wanna have the car aligned and possibly Jamie to tune it by this weekend. That's my goal. Still waiting on a couple parts, so it's a stretch. I still need to do the fuel lines. There's still a bunch of work, but I feel like it's doable. I'm gonna try my best to get it done for him, and then I can start on the next project, so. But I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys back tomorrow.